Every year, Greater Frogtown Community Development Corporation invests more than $2 million into this community. We build long-lasting relationships with residents and business owners. And with us being here at the neighborhood level, we can bring in additional resources through our partnerships with other organizations. We're at the corner of Dale Street and University Avenue, which has historically had a very interesting past. There was decay that happened throughout the years, and now we've got an opportunity to really build a signature development that is going to benefit the neighborhood. It's gonna be four stories mixed use, commercial space, retail space on the first floor, and then the second, third, and fourth floors are gonna be affordable housing for seniors. And this really is kind of a signature spot for the neighborhood. The Greater Frogtown CDC was birthed in 1995, and it came out of um, a recognition that there was a need for one organization in the neighborhood to take the lead. The neighborhood had, uh, had a lot of trouble with crack houses and dilapidated buildings. Many had been demolished, and an organization was needed to come in and start building single-family homes and start uh, creating programs to support the longtime residents here and new residents who were coming in. Hi, my name is Domingo Ramos. I live at 568 Sherburn out in St. Paul. This is area is called the Frogtown neighborhood. Um, I've been in Minnesota for about 11 years and about six years ago I bought this beautiful old home here in Frogtown and they helped me redo the roof and repaint the whole house. Um, I was in actually really surprised at how easy it was. There was absolutely no hassle. They take really good care of this community. We received information about the Frogtown facelift program. I would have been happy to just be able to address the structural pieces with our house that needed to be addressed, but the fact that we were able to add so many more elements to our house, it really changed our house from a starter home to a staying home. And now my husband and I sit at the kitchen table and we make plans for the next 15 years and 20 years. I always dream, but I didn't tell nobody one day I want a brand new house. But I don't know I can do it or not by myself. So the Great Rock Town, they make through with me very hard to get a good deal and to get a fair for me. Sometimes people can dream the rest of their lives, never get it. So I really excited, I really happy about it and this townhouse is really give me a new life. Behind me are a couple of properties that we renovated. The Dale Auto Clinic is a great neighborhood business. It's an Asian business owner. We were able to help them do some facade improvements and some new signage and lighting. Behind that is a duplex that had been vacant and dilapidated that we renovated and it's now owner occupied by a Vietnamese family. Dale Street has historically been the neighborhood's main street with housing and businesses on both sides of the street. The Dale Street was a vibrant street with lots of pedestrians, lots of customers for the business base. The Dale Street Townhomes is a development that we just completed just a few years ago in partnership with Habitat for Humanity. And that's a perfect example of how we're trying to recreate the main street feel. Light rail should be coming down University Avenue within the next two to four years. Uh, Greater Frogtown CDC is actually doing a lot of work with the businesses in the uh, university area and they're going to help them to minimize the impact and make sure that businesses do stay and prosper on University Avenue. And ultimately, it's not about the dollars invested, it's about the people that we work with. Somebody who lives on the street of a house that has been renovated also sees a benefit in their property values, in the crime level on the street. So without us being here at the neighborhood level doing this kind of work, the neighborhood, I think, would be a very different place.